importance of regional press. Now we move forward and our next guest is Professor Dr. Saqib Riaz, Chairman, Department of Mass Communication, Alamakbar Open University, Islamabad, Pakistan. And he will talk about the challenges to media education in Pakistan and the way forward. Sir. Thank you very much. I congratulate my friend, my colleague, Professor Dr. Shahzad Ali, for organizing such a historic event. This is a great event. And um, I congratulate you and your whole team for organizing this international conference. Uh, Professor James T. Kelly, Dr. Yasmin, my respected colleagues, Dr. Zafar Kibar, and Jamzeev, my respected colleagues, friends, teachers, colleagues, journalists, students, it's indeed a great pleasure for all of us that we are a part of this historic mo moment and we are participant uh, of the second international conference on communication and media research. This university is not a new place for me. I have been visiting this place for many times for the last 10, 15 years. Um, and one of the reasons that I came all the way down from Islamabad is to welcome my great friend, my mentor, Professor James D. Kelly. I have been his student, his uh, colleague at Indiana University of Lincoln for a year. I spent a year of my life with him under his supervision. And uh, he is a great lover of Pakistan and the people of Pakistan. And he is a great lover of humanity. And Professor Jim Kelly, welcome to Pakistan. Pakistan and the people of Pakistan love you. Thank you very much. Uh, my dear colleagues, respected audiences, a few things about the challenges of media education, especially in Pakistan. Today, I stand before to address a critical issue that affects the very fabric of our society, the challenges to media education in Pakistan and the imperative for a way forward. In an age where information is power and media literacy is paramount, Pakistan faces numerous obstacles in fostering a well-informed, critically engaged citizenship. Here, audience, censorship and governmental restrictions pose a formidable barrier to media education while freedom of expression is protected in Pakistan's constitution. In reality, media outlets often face censorship, threats, and even violence. This practice curtails dissenting voices, limits the diversity of perspectives available to students, and undermines the principles of democracy. Without a free and vibrant media landscape, media education efforts are inherently compromised. As students are denied access to a wide range of viewpoints and are unable to develop a reasonable understanding of complex issues. Additionally, the lack of resources, both financial and infrastructural, hampers media education efforts in Pakistan. Many universities lack updated curriculum, qualified teachers, and access to technology. The digital divide further complicates disparities in media literacy. As students from marginalized communities are left behind in the digital age, without adequate resources, educators struggle to teach media literacy effectively and students are ill-equipped to navigate the complexities of the modern media landscape. Furthermore, societal pressures and cultural norms 
play a significant role in shaping media consumption habits in Pakistan. Sensationalism, misinformation, and propaganda often dominate the media landscape, separating stereotypes and polarizing communities. In such an environment, cultivating a sensitive audience capable of critically evaluating media messages become increasingly challenging. Moreover, the prevalence of fake news and disinformation campaigns further erodes trust in the media and undermines the credibility of journalism as a whole. However, amidst these challenges, there is a hope. The way forward requires a multifaceted approach that addresses both systematic issues and empowers individuals to become active participants in their media consumption. Firstly, curriculum reform is essential. Media literacy should be integrated into formal education at all levels, with a focus on critical thinking, digital literacy, and ethical journalism. By equipping students with the skills to navigate the media landscape responsibly, we can empower them to become informed citizens and conscious consumers of information. Additionally, media literacy education should be participatory and attractive, incorporating real-world examples and hands-on activities to engage students and foster critical thinking skills. Secondly, teacher training programs must be expanded to ensure educators are equipped to teach media literacy effectively. Professional development opportunities, workshops, and resources should be made available to educators, enabling them to stay abreast of emerging media trends and technological developments. Thirdly, increased investment in educational structure and media technology is very necessary. Access to computers, internet connectivity, and multimedia resources must be prioritized to bridge the digital divide and provide equal opportunities for all students to develop media literacy skills. Furthermore, fostering an open media environment is crucial. Press freedom and freedom of expression are the cornerstones of democracy. By promoting a diverse range of voices and viewpoints, we can encourage critical thinking and civic engagement among our people. Moreover, media literacy education should include discussions on media ethics, media regulations, and the role of media in democracy, empowering students to become informed advocates for press freedom and media pluralism. In addition to Above of all these challenges and problems, there are certain other challenges which we are facing. The recent phenomena of downsizing in media organization worldwide is a big challenge. Recently, I read a news in a newspaper that uh, the New York Times has uh, closed its uh, regional office in Paris, firing 79 journalists. This is a global phenomenon uh, which we are also facing in our country that uh, media organizations are continuously firing the journalists and uh, making them jobless. This is a big challenge. And on the other hand, many people who are completely uh, illiterate or uneducated or less educated, they are running their YouTube channels and they are having millions of followers and they are earning a lot of money. And we are educating the youth of Pakistan in, uni in universities and um, they are facing problems of jobs because the job market has been shrinked when I was in the United States at Indiana University, in those days, I read uh, an article in newspaper 
it was titled as death of newspapers and the other one was farewell to journalism. So it means that traditional print media is going to die. It, it is being converted into a new shape in a digital, in digital world and we have to prepare our young generation to meet the challenges of the new world, the global world where we live. It is uh, based on highly technological world where we are living and uh, this is a great challenge for all of us, the educators of media education, uh, that uh, we should prepare our students, our graduates to meet the challenge of the new world. Thank you very much.